Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. I want to touch on something real quick uh, about Jerron in this. Um, this, what I want to touch on, it's something that I've seen in him in some of his other fights and definitely in the Olympian Yets fight there's there's just one thing that annoys me and it, and it kind of concerns me a little bit but I just you know I, I just be I be the same to myself bro I just wish he just fixed this or maybe it just looks weird from where I'm looking you know because I'm not in the ring I'm not up at the fight I'm not watching it from ringside but it's, it's, as you see right here, he did this a few times in the in the Limbin Yet fight. I've seen him do it in his other fights as well. Uh, Jerron Ennis, when he's like at mid range, he when he throws that right that right hook, it, it's he overcompensates and sometimes he, he kind of goes when he throws it. Even if he if he misses. But even if he doesn't miss, when he hits you with it, he just he overcompensates and he seems off balance after he throws the punch. And if somebody's a right-handed puncher and they and they can and they have good timing or they have good, you know, they can sense it, they can catch him with that. And they can probably hurt him. I, I was looking at it, I said, all right. But, the, the thing that thing saves him though is he he has every time he throws it at least most of the time from what I've seen when he throws it and he misses and he does that same when he throws that right and he seems off balance he knows how to pivot and bring his bring himself out of line he he does it to where it doesn't look like he can put himself in in harm's way after he it's like he knows that he's off balance but he he catches himself and he throws himself back on track but somebody will catch up on that eventually uh will pick up on it and I don't, I don't want him to i don't want nobody to capitalize off that but that's just something that i caught and i, I i've seen that in like i said some of his other fight but it, was, it really grinds my axis when i see it i'm like bro and like i'll be like damn i'll be i'll be worried sometimes like in the lip and yet fight when he threw it in the oh uh i think it was like within I think it was the first round. Was it the first round? I'm not sure. I think it was. The first time I seen him throw it in that fight, I, I was nervous because I thought Lippinets was going to catch on to that, was going to hit him and probably drop him because he was already a little off balance. But what he did in a split second, he, he managed to throw himself back into where he gained his footing again. Watch, watch it. Watch that fight again. You'll see a few times that he did that. And he caught his footing, but what if he can't catch his footing quick enough and somebody's that fast enough to to catch him and capitalize off of uh off of it? Like like I said, he's throwing his right right hook. He's he's off balance and he's still like his body is still twisted this way to the to the left. A righty, all he has to do is you know, he could probably step out of the way move back a bit pivot and then probably just come up with a right or, or even an uppercut uh man i i hope i hope they fix that this is just something that i saw i paid attention to it i seen it in quite a few of his fights but only thing i think is saving him is that fact that he manages like i said he's really good at getting himself back on balance but other than that, man, I don't see many flaws in Jerron in this, man. This is, people were saying, yo, he got hit by Lippin Yes too. Wait, I mean, this is boxing. Where did he get hit too much? Sometimes, look, you can have the best defense and still get hit, bro. Floyd Mayweather had great defense. Still gonna get hit. He got hit by Shane Mosley. And Shane Mosley doesn't even, is nowhere near, the, has nowhere near the skill level as Floyd Mayweather. He still managed to rock Floyd Mayweather. You know, so this is boxing. You know, you're going to get hit. It's just what it is. You can't avoid the hits. You're going to get hit. 
but the whole goal is to minimize how much time how many times you get hit. You know, and I think Jerron Ennis does a good job at that. You know, most of his punches are always accurate. He has very accurate punches. Most of all of them count. You know, they land where they're supposed to land. Good measuring of distance. You know, I think he's I think he's the goods, man. He he's gonna be all right. It's just like I said, um, there's a, f- a few defensive things that. I'm pretty sure he'll work on Even he said it. So, you know, I'm pretty sure he understands that. But that thing just, it's like a, uh, just really annoying to watch him. He does it a few, he does it a lot. And then I'll be like, bro, like I'm, sometimes I turn, I close my eyes. Like, man, I, don't, I hope he don't get hit with somebody with some, with some, that has some real power and they catch him. If he doesn't move out the way and get, him to get back on balance quick enough, or, you know, something, you know, we, we, we looking at, Something bad possibly happening, man. But let me know what you think. I don't know if you guys caught on to that, but I've I've caught on to it. Uh, but I was waiting for this Lip and Yes fight to see if he if he did it again, and he did. Um, double comment. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Catch y'all later.